What's up, everybody? You already know this your boy Frog. Today, I'm going to go ahead and chop it up with y'all about knives. As you can see, I'm kind of strapped up. So I'm going to show you some homemade knives I made that are homemade prison knives. All right? But before we get into that, I want to make a shout out to my dog. You know what I'm saying? My dog Chico that made this for me when I was at DeSoto Correctional Institution. In 2017, he dated it with his initials right here. Eastside Davey, K Frog. And even wrote K Frog TV down here in the bottom. For those that don't know, K Frog TV did not just start. It didn't start while I was in prison either. It started before I went up the road and I just kept pushing it while I was gone. I kept putting on for it everywhere I went. K Frog TV, K Frog TV. You know what I'm saying? My dog made this right here out of a part of a pillowcase and he colored it with M&Ms. There's some very talented people in the chain gang. You come across the Rawls tattoo artists. The raw is people that make cards, they make cards, they pop out, you know, you come across some very talented hidden individuals. So I just wanted to take the time to shout my dog out that made this. This is the only video you're going to see this up at. All right, I just wanted to take this very one right here and shout out my dog that's still got like seven more years to go, you feel me? I made this in 2017. But anyways, let's go ahead, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk to y'all about is a buck fifty. If anyone knows what a buck fifty is, go ahead and drop that comment. All right, straight like that. Y'all hit that subscribe and like button too. But anyways, what you normally a standard buck fifty would be made out of would be this, which is just a toothbrush and a melted part of with a razor blade. Okay, this is a standard buck fifty. You know, this is when you cut a dude in the face or whatnot. This is what they're gonna show you in movies. They're gonna show you people melting them like this and putting them on toothbrushes and stuff. Yeah, it's cool, it looks very interesting, it does. But there's 101 ways to make one of these, you know? And this is if you're not trying to kill someone, but you just wanna teach them a lesson. Leave them with that scar for life, feel me? I done seen this shit do so much damage to people. I seen a dude's jaw and his bottom teeth through his cheek, okay? And you barely gotta even touch them. You don't try to hit them hard with it, it's not a knife. It's a buck fifty. Y'all all know y'all know how razors are. They're meant for shaving, you know? So it's gonna do all the work itself. As long as you line your cut up and you know what you're doing, you're, you're good, okay? It's gonna cut like butter. And you know, and real pros, when they walk up on them and get that cut, as they go to yank, they push the person, you know? And everyone knows they don't feel it right away. As soon as the air hits it, they might feel something and keep walking, don't even know they were cut. And then once the air hits it, they'll, ah! And they start gushing, leaking freaking out don't know what to do and then that person that did it's out of there okay but anyways that's one way of a buck 50 right there all right that's what you call buck 50 okay next i'm gonna talk to y'all about pokers okay which i have one right here this is a nice beautiful poker okay which is made out of a piece of a fence which y'all probably done seen probably in other channels or whatnot i know that boy 1090 done showed y'all one before shout out to 1090 you feel me and this right here is just wrapped real, real tight with a piece of a towel, okay? This is a poker. A lot of people rather get buck 50 than wet up. Me personally, I'd rather get wet up because I don't want nothing on my face. You know, you can't die from a buck 50. They're either gonna glue you or staple you shut, but you could die from being wet. Once this breaks the skin, all that's going in. It doesn't matter what size the poker is or whatnot, you know, you can have one like this or whatever and this is your fire, this is your gun in prison, all right? And I'm not on here to send a bad message to teach people to go stab people or to make knives or nothing like that, so don't get it twisted. Frog ain't here for that, feel me? K-Frog don't do that. K-Frog here just to tell y'all and show y'all the things that I learned and experiences that I went through while I was in prison, okay? So this right here is a poker with a towel wrapped around it. Y'all hit that like and subscribe button, okay, for all TV, you feel me? And then I'm gonna show y'all a knife. Which this one right here is a nice, pretty one. As you can see, it's been sharpened and all. I've been at camps where it takes people five to 10 days to make a knife, okay? And this is just a standard, this is just a shoestring wrapped around it for a handle. The handle's the main thing. So once you hit and pull out, it doesn't come out. It just, it's, it's like a real knife, all right? Me personally, I like knives over pokers. You know what I'm saying? I just, they just feel more at home and I'd have been in most situations with them. You know, 
for anyone watching, you could do you could do your little research on me or whatnot. Check my background status. I've been caught with machetes and knives. Machetes, we call them woos in the chain gang. Shit big as your arm. Okay? But this right here, anyways, is it is your standard banger. You know, we call this a banger. Buck 50, poker, banger. Alright? And this is like nine out of ten, you know, where this right here going teach them a lesson like this right here gonna make them wish they never came a fuck with you at all all right so that's a nice little knife right there or whatnot i put together for y'all okay what else we have right here okay i'm gonna pull out this one this is a baby poker look at it's only about three inches three maybe three and a half inches it ain't gotta be much bigger than that that's how serious something can take your life and these thing this this thing right here is so perfect and so small it can be brought anywhere. You got a watch on when you're in the chain gang, you can put it right there. And as you walk and talk and mob the compound, and you walk around, ba -ba 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 -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba, and go to chop it up with everybody, go to talking and shit, they don't even know you got a poker on you right there. A little thing like this will save your life just in case something goes down. Not saying it'll kill you, the right spots it will, but I know it'll get them the fuck off you if someone tries to attack you. You know, and just like, boom, perfect to go in your boot. You know, perfect to go in your back pocket if you get the pants with the pockets or if you're bossed up and you get them made. Because a lot of people don't know, but they don't get them out no more. Along with the belt, they don't get that shit out no more. They got stretchies. Everybody gets stretchies. You get scrubs now, just like the damn doctor's office. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, a boss nigga pay 8 to $12 and get a whole fit made. So, you know, you get this, go right in your back pocket. Everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? So, that's another little one right there. Okay, that's a little baby poker. Okay, so now the next one I'm gonna go ahead and pull out is I'm gonna show y'all this one. You know, I used to write a lot of raps, so I'd be sitting in the door and writing my raps and shit, getting everything off my chest, feel me? Back when I was gonna push a mixtape, which is my mixtape coming out, it's called Davey, but it really stands for Drugs and Violence is Everywhere. That's the name of the mixtape, y'all gonna see. Drugs and Violence is Everywhere, which stands for Davey, okay? And I'd be sitting there in the dorm and whatnot, writing my raps or whatever with my pen, People think shit's sweet or whatnot, but in all reality, I have a razor blade on it. See? And this can be done with a standard bit. I'm not showing y'all something that they don't know. Or I'm not exposing secrets and shit. You know, the whole Department of Corrections, officers, the system, everyone already knows all the ways they done seen it all. I'm just showing y'all what I used to do throughout my bit. Just get you a single pen, which it's a regular bit pen. You know, built the same way, just a different color. You pop the bottom out, and then you just chew it flat to make so it ain't square. Now it's, I mean, so it ain't circle. Now it's square. You slide the razor blade in there and yank. Once you yank, the razor blade itself is gonna cut into the plastic and wedge itself in there so it is not coming out. And then you know, you just put your finger right there when you're gonna cut, and you do what you gotta do and go about your business. Put it back, you know, with the pen. Boom, boom. You know, mob the pound. This is where if you're really somewhere where you really need it and you're really in a tight spot and there's a lot of animosity and a lot of stabbings and shit going on, you wanna protect yourself, you know what I'm saying? But prison ain't the place to go. My message ain't to tell y'all to go to prison and start stabbing people up. That ain't my message. My message is just to show y'all the type of shit that you might have to do to survive. You understand? Because it's corrupted, okay? So, buck 50, poker, banger, and here's another banger, okay? This is another little pretty one right here I made for y'all also. All right? And this is just made out of the common toilet paper rolled cardboard and a piece of sheet. And that's it. Perfect handle, whatnot. Definitely down to do damage. Okay? So, like I said, I prefer bangers over all the other shit. Okay? Don't get me wrong now. A poker is more risky to take someone's life because once that tip goes in, the rest's going in. So if you got a poker like this, you know, people, uh, that shit will go through and come out the back of your shoulder. That's how deadly them shits are. All right? Just wanted to show y'all a couple little things or whatever. Like I said, some camps I've been to, they get them shits made in five to ten days it'll take. People go around and just sell metal. People just sell different shit. Take five to ten days unless you find someone on work squad that can actually cut it for you and start it off. You're still going to have to chisel it. You know what I'm saying? But anyways... To me, personally, my favorite's Plexiglass. 
which that's probably a lot of other people's favorite too. I came across a big old piece of plexiglass one time and we broke that bitch down into like seven bangers. And of course everyone's gonna like plexiglass because just vision these, but they're plexiglass. So now everywhere you go on the compound and you're all strapped up, shit like that, everywhere you go, all the, all the metal detectors you go through onto the rec yard, whether it's the center gate, wherever it is you go and mob and walk around, that wand and that metal detector is not going off because it's plexiglass, you know? That shit'll take your life. Just like in confinement when they give you them trays, you know? I've seen people not give the trays back sometimes and the officers don't know, they're just collecting trays. And them dudes be in there for days, breaking down a tray and using the piece of plastic to make a banger. And those are the best to do, especially if you know you're getting transferred, you know? So that way you can get on the bus with one and it's, it's brown plastic, looks like a, it's brown plastic, looks like a, like a damn dagger from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know what I'm saying? It's just a piece of brown plastic. And just to show y'all, look, just to show y'all these shits are sharp, okay? Like they're nothing to be fucked up with. But anyways, y'all hit that like and subscribe button, all right? I just wanna come on here and introduce y'all to the knife, my style, K4L TV shit, fuck with me.